Hey, what up, guys? Jackal here, and for this week, I really won't be having a tutorial, more as I'll be showing you guys my render settings and a couple of quick tips. But before we get right into it, um, I just want to tell you why I don't, I don't have a tutorial this week. I basically have to get back into school now that summer's over, so I'll be taking about a good portion of my time now, but I will always have time for you guys. And I will always make time for you guys. So just to let you guys know that. And um, also, I want to go over to my website. Um, I will be taking a quick, uh, a two-week break so I can get back into school. But I, um, I will have a tutorial on how to, I'll be going into more depth on render settings and After Effects and um, processing and After Effects. I'll have it on my website under the tutorials um, next Thursday and just go to After Effects Tutorials. And um, when I come back um, about Tuesday, or when I come back to like um, upload and stuff, I'll have a uh, tutorial on um, paranormal, act, uh, a sort of paranormal activity effect. You can come um, to my website and you can check out the preview. It's right under here. And you can go my Vimo, and I have a video for you guys. I won't play it. I just want to show you guys real quick what it looks like. So yeah, it's it's a sort of like a paranormal activity effect if you saw the movie. And uh, yeah. Also, I just want to show you guys something real quick. If you haven't seen it already, I'm pricing services. I have something to sell. Uh, Gucci HUD templates. Um, cost eight dollars um you can go here watch two preview videos down here is the um what's in it basically um uh, and right here is just description what you get and all that type of stuff all the proceeds go to upgrading my laptop so i can get more ram a better fan and all that type of stuff you guys know so i can make better tutorials for you guys so uh yeah so let me show you guys my um uh, render settings and uh, if you may have been wondering, I may show you guys, I'll show you guys what this is real quick. This is just something I worked on like two weeks ago. If you think it's really cool or something like that, you want a tutorial, just um, leave a comment below or just send me a message or whatever. Alright, to open up your um, preference, open up your render queue, just go to window, uh, render queue. And just drop in your composition that you want to render. Alright, and um, render settings, go select best settings. Uh, quality at best, resolution full, don't mess with any of this, don't mess with any of this unless you um, know what you're doing. Uh, I like to have it at 60 frames per second. Um, this is basically the time frame. If you want to um, end it. Like at three minutes, just type in it right here, or you want a certain duration, type in down here. So, yeah, press OK, press OK, and output module right here. This is basically the format you're gonna render it in, and I like to render it in, in quick time as a quick time file, and just go down here, quick time movie. And is, for me, this is the best, and you'll see in a second, um, go to format options. And you have um, all, everything you need right here. You have animations for animations you're gonna do. Impact four. That's always great quality. And PNG if you um, you're rendering something and you don't want the background. That's like uh, basically everything you need. And I like to keep that animation 60 frames and make sure it's best and millions of colors. Okay. And color management. Um, you don't ha really have to press this, but I, I don't know, I just, it, it just feels better when I press this. I don't know why, it's just, I, this is the thing. So, press it if you want, press it if you don't want to, it doesn't really make a difference. And, um, if you have audio right here, make sure you select this. And press OK. And output 2 is where you're going to save it at and where you're going to name it. We'll keep it the same and save. And I'm going to show you guys a quick tip when you're rendering. I'm going to click render. And um, when you're rendering, it shows previews of uh, what you're rendering. And um, 
it, that will um, add more time to your render time and to decrease it just press um, cap lock once the estimated um, time is up press cap lock and it stops the uh, it stops it from uh, showing the previews of the uh, wherever you're making of the composition basically and it will um, lower down the time of your render just a bit so yeah I'm gonna stop this real right now cap lock just get rid of this alright and I just want to show you guys real quick how I got my um, After Effects screen this dark you just gotta go edit um, preferences and um, uh, go to display. Give this a bit, or not display. Um, uh, where is this at? Sorry about this, guys. Uh, yeah, go appearance and brightness. And uh, this is basically you can make it darker or brighter, whatever you want. It's usually like a light grayish sort of color. I, I just like this really dark color. So yeah. And get rid of the use of gradients if you don't like it. So, yeah, that's basically it. Alright. And this is really why I need more RAM. So, it like, it really goes slow for me while I'm doing stuff and recording and stuff like that. So, um, alright. So, this is going slow at the moment. Uh, alright. So... If you guys really need like a HUD template or something that uh, you can't make for yourself, I can probably make it. Um, I really, um, I really do my like work for cheap. Probably like uh, you talk to me or something like that. I'll probably make you something nice for around like twelve bucks. So yeah, so yeah. Um, see you guys in about two weeks or next Thursday if you're on my website and view the uh, tutorial on how to render and process in After Effects faster so um, I'll see you guys later